I'm coming to you today to talk about dating a non-vegan. I dated um, my ex-boyfriend for two years and a half and we just recently separated and uh, it was because we graduated college and we're not in the same place anymore. So we decided not to do long distance, but we're still best friends and we still talk every day. So I do believe that we will probably be together if we were in the same place. But I have a lot of experience um, dating a non-vegan because we were together for two years and a half and I only became vegan um, like six months in the relationship. So we were together for a long time um, when I was a vegan and he wasn't a vegan. So I just have a few things to share. So first of all, I think that in the beginning it was really hard because I became a vegan and I learned a lot about um, what animal foods can do to your body and how we're eating, you know, eating dead animals and uh, dairy products and how that affects and how you're like supporting this industry of, you know, animal slavery and stuff like that. So not only was I like learning the health aspects of being a vegan, I was concerned for not only my boyfriend, but my family and friends. And like, I wanted to inform them, be like, oh, well, you guys shouldn't eat this, this is so bad for you. So like in the beginning, it's really hard because you, you're trying to share what you learn and they, they're not in the same place that you are, in the same, in your journey. So they're not ready to be vegan, you know? So sometimes you, it can come out as like you're being really pushy or you're putting your beliefs into them, on them. So I think it's, it's really important for you to separate, you know, this is your journey and this is where you are in your life. And maybe it's just not where they are right now. And that's, that's okay. And, um, you know, you just have to be able to separate yourself and the other person because you guys are different individuals and he might not agree with you being a vegan uh, but as long as you guys have clear boundaries and you know don't push your beliefs into it like I don't I don't want him being like oh you need to eat me or oh, you're gonna die or like you're gonna become you know you're gonna get all of these deficiencies like he didn't do that to me uh, so it was not fair for me to try to impose, you know, what I did on, what I learned on him. The best thing you can do here is to just be educated about the subject and live by example. So if he ever is inspired by your lifestyle and seeing how you're doing and he comes to you with questions, then you are ready to answer them, but never like trying to impose them on the person, just let the person come to you uh, in their own time. I think that's very important. It's also very important for you to be true to yourself. So if there is a situation that makes you uncomfortable, you shouldn't have to be able, you shouldn't have to do it. Uh, for example, he, if he asks you to cook for him uh, like um, a meat dish, I don't think that you should have to do it to please him if that makes you uncomfortable and if you know it goes against things that you believe in uh, my boyfriend never asked me to so thank god um and he wouldn't really ask me to make vegan dishes for him as well um he kind of did his own thing i did my own thing and then we ate together so we share that experience of eating together and having dinner dinner together which i think is very important but we like respected you know I'm gonna make my huge ass salad and he's gonna make, you know, his rice with broccoli and then a piece of chicken and that's fine. As long as you're sharing the experience of just being with each other, that's so much more important than you eating the same thing. Sometimes discussions might happen around veganism and you're both trying to defend your point of view. Like we had a couple of times that I was just you know, be like, how can you eat the animals, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, but the animals are like so inferior to us. Like, it doesn't matter, but 
those are not fun and they don't usually turn out to have great outcomes so either you guys have to be able to like separate and be like okay we're gonna talk about this and we might disagree and but after we're done we're gonna go back and be like okay now let's get let's put this behind us and let's get back to like just being together in this relationship because if not like that can be a huge deal breaker uh, so yeah we would you know have arguments sometimes it would get awkward for a little bit because I'll be frustrated that he's not sharing my point of view and he's frustrated that I'm not sharing his point of view but then you just take a little break take a breather and be like okay that's not what's important I still I love you and he loves me so let's get together and just be happy and forget about this discussion <laughs> so awkward um, occasions come up sometimes like sometimes you have to go to their parents house and if you're really close to them it can be very easy um, to just ask to bring a dish and sometimes uh, what happened to me was that we I became really close with his parents and his family so if we had Thanksgiving or something they would always make me a vegan dish which was more than I could ever ask for but I always offered to take my own food and I think that's important I mean you don't want to be like the weird one not eating <laughs> while everybody eats so if you bring your own thing and you make enough for everybody else to eat because you don't want to like just bring a little bowl for yourself because uh, that's gonna you know separate you and that's what you want to do uh, I think that you want to share and that's very important so just make something really yummy and you know vegan and something that you really enjoy and you don't even have to tell people it's vegan like it doesn't really matter just bring it share with them and eat if they make something like you know some vegetables and rice you can eat that so you can eat what they have and like balance it out I since I started dating him before I was vegan I think that it was easier for me to after I went vegan like of course I kept loving him the fact that he wasn't vegan didn't change the way I saw him at all uh, but I can see how being a vegan and dating a non-vegan from the beginning that can be very different and now that you know I don't know where life is gonna take me I don't know if we are gonna end up together in the future but if you know I'm gonna go back to you know dating other people um, I can see how I don't I don't think that I could be in a serious relationship with a non-vegan just because there were a lot of things that I had to compromise I think uh, when I was dating a non-vegan uh, like I don't enjoy sitting down to eat and looking at someone eating a dead animal even though I completely respect their journey but it's not something that like I absolutely love so I can't imagine um, being in a serious relationship even now that I'm older and imagine like one day you're gonna live together and he's gonna be cooking me in your house and then one day you're gonna have kids and that can be like a huge problem like how you're gonna feed your kids so I think that from now on my serious relationships I see as being with vegans and I don't want to like write this on stone because you never know what happens in life but yeah I think yeah I think that <laughs> when I when I get to that bridge maybe I can do like another uh, video about it um, because you know I started as a non I started as a non-vegan dating a non-vegan and I became a vegan so I think that that's a little different from the other way you know um, but I think that the most important thing to take from this is that relationships are not about food okay there's so much more that you share so you know as long as you respect each other and uh, you respect each other's point of view and you respect that you are in your journey and he's in his journey and you have your your separate beings sharing an experience together that goes way beyond what you eat I think take this as you want um, and yeah just let's just be happy and enjoy life and live by example and that's how I think 
that's the way to do it. <laughs> I hope this helped you. Um, if I didn't go in depth, it's something that you want to know. Uh, please leave a message below and I would I will answer as best as I can. And so I, I was dating a non-vegan for two years. I think I have a lot of experience and occasions that I went through. So if you have any questions and something that's coming up with you and you know you don't know how to deal with it, please share with me and I'll be more than happy to give my advice.